waka 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 what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another fc finch review and we are going to be doing transformers today getting right back into the line with the ocular max combaticons or the assalticons whatever you want to call them i mean i'm going to call them the combaticons because that's what they are trying to be and today we're taking a look at ps15 frodo which is their take on a swindle i guess we can call him a masterpiece swindle since as you will see he does tend to scale well with masterpieces dino cat right next to me so real quick we are going to start off with taking a look at the box we're just going to do a quick spin i did do a formal unboxing of this along with impetus um and uh i'll put the link to the description uh to a link in the description to that down below so without further ado let's take a look at the box and we got a nice image here of frodo nice animated shot looking very much swindle like all built in of course he does form the mighty bruticus ps15 frodo the munition expert ocular max logo on the side we got a nice side shot of uh frodo on the side on the back again i love how they use they show starting as the leg moving into jeep mode and then finally into robot mode and then of course i'll put this up here so you can read the bio uh and all that good stuff he does come with the little stat card you can put it over like that get his stats woohoo and uh there you go and then of course on the side i love it, it kind of fills in the second picture here so going right down the line so there we go for there and then of course we got him on the some products on the top we got some legal stuff on the bottom in another language and that is it for the box all right and let's get right down to business with ps15 frodo aka swindle and uh right off the bat he's definitely uh, as expected the most colorful of the combaticons uh, nobody can ever throw away that uh yellow and purple color combo god i god, god i love some of the decepticon color combos and anyway, we'll start off with the head um kind of really a neutral face expression almost kind of looks like he's frowning um he's got uh, the nice purple uh done for the eyes and nice I, I love how they differentiated this with a slight shade uh different shade of gray um he is the only combaticon with a actual mouth uh, so all the rest of them are, are ninja and then of course you have some transparent glass right here with r nice riveting detail at the top as well as a windshield wiper detail and uh yeah you can see it kind of gives way to like a little steering wheel and i love that uh right there i uh, got some headlights uh for the robot mode up in blue and then of course a nice purple all along here again i think this figure for the most part is unpainted um uh moving around the back you know he's got the little wheel on the back but for the most part this is cartoon accurate very very clean and again, i really like how they use that they hide the screws very sparingly again i mean i always say if you're going to give it to fan toys you got to give it to uh other manufacturers and some nice riveting detail on the back here uh moving on you got some nice big bulky legs looking very good uh yeah and just again the, the yellow mostly through two through through cartoon accurate to a fault and uh, uh real quick just want to point out he's got the nice riveting de detail pointed on the uh painted out on the wheels they feel like plastic they do not feel rubber so just fyi and uh yeah no overall a really good looking bot definitely a very very swindled looking like Let's do his articulation and his head is on a ball joint he looks up that far down that far all the way around if you want him to the arms uh, again on a friction hinge they'll go all the way around they'll go out to the side just like that he does have bicep swivel he does have a double jointed elbow that gets you all like that his wrist does swivel um and then of course he does have individually articulated fingers only with a base hinge as you can see they're already kind of bent a little bit and the thumb is on a ball joint um and real quick i do want to point out waist swivel real quick i do want to point out that uh, similar to impetus every most of the joints here are friction but they feel very good i mean nothing feels like incredibly loose on here it moves really really nice and easy so again uh a shout out to ocular max uh for that he does have front pads uh get you a nice fusion kick all the way out he'll get you a back fusion kick um he will go all the way out to do a side fusion kick and then of course he can get you full 90 at the uh knee and then of course he does have thigh swivel slightly tight but still feels pretty good and then of course he does have a uh, slight ankle tilt and then he does have toe tilt for days likely due to transformation and uh, no ab crunch to speak of but again eh, i'm not too heartbroken about that he's got uh, a lot of everything where it counts he has it on good feeling hardware 
But moving on to his accessories, and he does come with a few. The first being his uh, gun right here, done in a very nice gray. Got the little very G1 simplistic too. Got some nice silver paint for the uh, missile, aka harpoon front end, and that uh, you can fold the. Uh, uh, the handle up for use in vehicle mode or you can bring it down and uh, that tabs in as you would expect it to you just put it in the hand right here just in that nice little pocket in the back and uh, there you go he could hold that he will hold that just fine uh next up he does come with his cannon um and again uh you can put all these like, all these gun accessories can be used in robot mode in relatively inconspicuous order and uh yeah so again done in a nice gray uh grayish plastic with some nice black accents painted around and how this fits on is you got this little pin uh pin right here and it fits right here by the way these do spin so just fyi you could just put this right here and there you go and that is looking very cartoon like and last but not least he does come with what will be the post uh for said cannon and said gun in vehicle mode and you can store this a number of ways that really don't look goofy at all so he does come with this uh pin uh this uh tab right here you can just put it on his shoulder have him kind of club somebody with it i guess or if you want it out of sight out of mind he does have a tab on the back of his legs here and you can just kind of store it just like that it will store out of the way just fine and last but not leastly he does come with an alternate head and and, and this is the one i like this is the one i like because his head it's it's a uh, it's a very swindly head. I like it's just a very sly kind of smile, and I absolutely love it. Done again, very similar, just to different expression form. In fact, this is the head I'm probably gonna leave on for the rest of the review, just because I like it so much. This looks like sad swindle or grumpy swindle, and again, it's on a ball joint, so it just pops right off. You just pop it right back on. And uh, there you go. Now that is what I'm talking about. Uh, for swindle, that looks really, really good. And real quick, for a couple quick comparisons, let's bring in Impetus. So we can see, and there we got Impetus pose. He's been on the shelf for quite a while. I'm not sure why his weapon is pointing down, but we'll fix that. And uh, yeah, they look absolutely awesome together. Um, give him face it this way. And uh, then, of course, let's bring in MP52. Dino Cat, of course, playing in the background. Let me back out the camera real quick. And uh, this is shaping up to be a beautiful brigade. <laughs> Star Skims Brigade. I know. I'm here all week, folks. And, uh, yeah, no. So, uh, there we go. And that looks absolutely awesome. Uh, I cannot wait to have this whole set together, standing side by side. Uh, this looks great. I'm absolutely thrilled. All right, and let us get him transformed up for the first time into his alternate mode, his uh, Jeep alternate mode. And so what we're going to start is with a bit of parts forming. Yes, parts forming. The rear wheel comes off and oh, it just went flying there and all that stuff. And uh, there we go for that. And next up, what we want to do is we want to open up. Oh, oh. Take this off. Take this thing off. Too. All the all the cannon parts must go. They they all got to go. All of them. Open this up. Fold the hand in. Spin his arm around, and then it's just gonna collapse up just like that. So his arm is looking like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. I will do it off camera. Next up, what we want to do is first off, you're gonna pull this out just a bit. And it's going to go in like this. Next up, what you want to do is you want to take this whole assembly. It's now one assembly. And it's on this hinge here. You want to rock it up all the way like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay it against here. Just, just like that. Get that out of the way. And make sure this is down. And then we're going to fold in the foot. Next up, what we want to do is we want to untab this right here. And we want to, oh, you might need a spudger for this part. You want to untab this right back here. And this is going to free up our leg. There we go. And then we can also untab this right here again. It's a bit tight, so you might need a spudger to get it in there. And this is going to free up our leg. And we want to do the same thing 
on this side. So now what we want to do, and pay attention, because this it, this kind of threw me for a loop the first time. So first off, you're going to tab the legs together through a tab right here that goes into here. And remember, you got tabs on each hatch here, so you want to make sure that these are lined up as best as possible. So let's tab our legs together. Make sure that we're tabbing in right here just like that. Make sure everything is unlocked. What you want to do is you want to pull this up, flip his hip skirts open and now what we want to do is we want to bend him back on his knees make sure his legs are straight and now this is going to elevate down and what you were looking to do is this crotch piece right here has a fit right in here so this needs to go in there and that's kind of why we're bending his legs down just like that so Again, it should look just like this when all is said and done. He should really look like all kind of compacted and everything just like that. Okay, make sure this definitely. And then once we're done with that, we no longer need these to be open. We can close them together. This will, of course, lock our leg. This should lock our legs in place. Then we can, of course, close these as well, just like that. And that will cover up. His, that will be all for his legs. So now I got him like this, and hey, you look just became easier to work on, and he's so happy too. Okay, so we're going to open uh, this in the back up. We're going to open this up. You can fold uh, these. Mine, I forgot to fold them down. After the, my practice run of transferring, you'd fold this down. Also, be sure you want to fold uh, this down. This is going to help form the front of the grill. And then what we want to do next is we're going to be flipping and flopping this guy all over the place. So uh, you can pull... These, they just kind of flipped out. Mine, I, I've heard some people complain the first ones of these were tight. Mine are tight by no means. So it looks like Ocular Max fixed that. And we're going to pull these out. And these are going to kind of hinge everything over just like this. So we're going to hinge this whole wheel assembly just like this. And then what we can do is we can flip the wheel out like to, out just like this and the wheel is going to trade places with the arm so what we're going to do and this is on kind of like it's a it's very got very nice clickety clackety joints it feels a bit weird and you're just going to fold this in just like this and the arm you have a tab slot right here and a tab right here on the arm and it's just going to tab right in just like that i'll show you again on the other side since by it's, we're gonna fold the wheel out just like this remember we got our tab here it's gonna go to the tab here so first we need to get it into a position it's nice clickety all the way around clickety crunchety peanut buttery and just like that and there we go for that so now that we have this monstrosity going on what we're gonna do is you can kind of pull out on the front end and you see it's on this double hinge right here and you're gonna pull it down and it's also gonna you're also gonna rotate it around 360 and we'll do this now because this is gonna give us a little more space so what we want to do next is we want to flip the head all the way around you can kind of flip the hood down just kind of flip the head all the way around just like this so we got this going on right here. And then what we can do is you could take these two headlight assemblies, fold these up, fold these little pieces over. These are going to become part of the wheel arches. Same thing on this side. Fold the headlight up, fold the wheel arch up like this. And then what we can do is now we can bring our windshield up. And first, sorry, let's back this up so what we're going to do is you have the hood piece here you got two tabs right here you got two tabs right in here and you're going to tab this in i'm going to bring this out you can see that the uh, front of the grill is going to align up all nice like so we have that taken care of and then what we can do is we can move this forward on that double hinge oops nice and easy Yes, lots of double hinges, and you can see that that's going to complete the hood just like that. So now what we can do, and we just want to fold these over, because what we're going to do next is we're going to fold these back down, and we're going to lock these in. Same thing with the other side. Oh, we 
gotta hold on i gotta fix something with his legs because this is supposed to tab into here and so i must not have this pushed down all the way so hold on i will be right back let me fix that all right so now that's fixed and that should be looking like that so let's get his cockpit all sorted since that is uh all set up and we have his steering wheel heel with the steering wheel here it is on a uh set of hinges at the base and at the steering wheel so what we could do is we could set that up just right kind of bring it out just a little bit higher so we can set his uh, little footsie rests down just like that same thing for the other side and then what we can do is we can bring these down they are on a double hinge right here and set that up and this will form his uh seats so now we got his cockpit all dressed up just like that what we can do now is we can close this up and this is going to fall back this is on a double hinge right back here going to push it back in and it's going to tab in right here and right on this side and next up what we can do is we can start make sure that these are out what we can do is bring this in and this is going to fit in right in a tab here and then it's going to tab in right here and right here same thing with the other side So there we have, we're almost there. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this out just like this. We're gonna flip it around just like this. This is gonna become his front bumper, or his little front crash shield, however you wanna call it. And we're gonna pull this out just like this. We're gonna push this in, this will lock it into place. And then we can push this down just like that. And that is all of the, uh, tri tri twisting and turning steps of the transformation now for a bit of parts forming here's what we are going to do next we're going to first off take this piece right here we're going to take the cannon it's going to plug in right on here what we're going to do with the gun is we're going to fold the handle and you'll see it's got this uh tab right here this is going to go in on the other side just like this next up we're going to break his legs apart just like that and you notice you have the square fit here. It's kind of got a slot. And you're just going to fit this right in here. And there you go. So now he's got his death ray all on back. And the last step, you got two tabs right back here. You got the spare tire. And you're just going to fit those. Oh, oh, come on now. Oh, all the way around. All the way around. There we go. And hope oh, that's too high. <laughs> it was right the first time. There we go. All right, perfect. And like magic, there you have Frodo, aka Swindle, in his Jeep mode. And I lied. Lastly but not leastly, um, one not so one not so critical and easy to misstep is you do just want to kind of want to bring his fender flares back like this. Same thing for the other side and there you go and now he is in his jeep mode all right and uh there he is in his uh jeep mode and uh yeah he looks really really good um uh, one of the things that i got i gotta bring this out is i love uh, he's got the seats molded in there he's got the steering wheel and uh steering wheel does uh it does not uh it does not turn uh so it is just on a hinge but again it just looks really really cool that actually kind of looks like I mean, like like a jeep steering wheel I mean, these things had huge steering wheels they were military jeeps for after all uh looking at the bottom again nice compacts really really nice looks good um you got the spare tire on back of course that looks good. got a little bit of paint there for uh the tail lights and uh coming around to the front that's a nice transparent blue for the headlights looks uh looks kind of transparent for yeah for the right light yeah, kind of changed color. I love how this front end comes together. I mean, yeah, you got you got some gaps. It is what it is, but I just love how they kind of you know just took the time to have these little pieces. Same thing with the front bumper um, coming out. Just looks 
really, really good. It does roll pretty smoothly, looking really good. I love how they mold it in the, uh, yeah, again, you got the nice glass. Of course, you see this in robot mode, but uh, nevertheless. And, of course, he does have, he, this is, again, we don't have to show his all weapon incorporation because, of course, his weapon incorporation is part of his all mode. He's this big hum, his, this big, I just want to say Hummer, but he's a Jeep with a uh, murder death uh, cannon and rocket launcher on the back. And, of course, that does rotate from side to side. And you can rotate this up and down. I mean, you can even bring it out and in if you want to on the hinge there. Same thing with the cannon. You can rotate it and whatnot and do all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, no, overall, just a really superb looking vehicular mode. I absolutely love it. And for a couple quick vehicular comparisons, let's bring our standard form of measurement, MP18 streak, and we can kind of see how that works out. And yeah, I mean, uh, Jeep looks kind of a bit bigger. They're probably more about the same size, but uh, you get the gist of uh, how he works out. It'll probably be just, he's probably just a wee bit bigger than our standard uh, MP bot. So there you go for that. And of course, let's bring in, yes, I know he's still, hobbling but uh, i can get him in so i'll have him in a decent pose there he is next to uh vortex aka impetus so you can see how that works out impetus has already got his decepticon symbol on there and you can see these guys and uh yeah they look really really good let me move in there get these guys yeah i love that that looks super Herb. I mean, it, it, obvious size difference, but they got to become a combiner. So, uh, yeah, overall, really, really good stuff. I like how these guys look together. All right, and without further ado, let us get him transformed into his leg mode, his combine mode uh, to form the leg of the mighty Bruticus. And so first off, let's start with uh, D parts forming the uh, parts forming. And uh, first off, I just want to state that I really don't care that uh, he parts forms. <laughs> or, I mean, it's all right. It's, it's more just putting the accessories on. So get this off, got to split the legs to do that, get that all taken care of, and this stuff can go bye-bye for now. Next up, what we want to do is we want to pull this out like that, we want to flip it around, we want to pull these up like this, and then we can just push this in just like that, and uh, there we go, that's all done right there, and then next up, these might need a spudger, yes, they will need a spudger, some of this stuff still needs a spudger, um, it can still be a very tight bot, we can bring these down, and in fact, let's open this up as well, and just kind of leave this open and hanging out, we can also open this up and you want to bring this up just like this so it's sitting just like that and then next up what we can do is we can bring all these up we can kind of oh, 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 oh. bring these up first <laughs> then we bring these up and out just get kind of get these out of the way and uh, next up what we want to do next is uh, we kind of want to split these right up here now mine are kind of tough so i'm gonna do that off camera i will be right back and we'll continue on with the transformation and like magic we have all that done and now i believe we are ready we can split i, I thought i had everything detached yep there we go there we go now we can split that up, you can kind of bring these down, and what we'll do is we'll bring these out. There we go, just like that, and we are literally just going to spin this all around, and yeah, now we can start putting it all back together. So we'll bring these in just like this, and there's his head here to say hello. So we just push these back in there just like that. We can tab in at the top they just tab in just like that and then of course we can push oh. there we go there we go there we go there we go push him back together like that and then next up we can kind of flip these oh 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 oh, oh over like that 
and then we can close these up you can close this can kind of squish the wheel in there and then we can put this down and next what we want to do and let me do a sponge over this as well so kind of want to split these panels right here and we can kind of fold this up and what you want to do is you want to make sure these tabs tab in right on here so whatever situates that, whatever boats its float. And then we can flip this up, flip these out right here. And these are going to line up right here with this. And there you go. So that is looking just like that. And next up, what we can do is we can open up these and fold them back. You're going to see we have our unlocking mechanisms here. And now we can open up his little unlocks and you're gonna see these again so don't think that uh <laughs> on one of the other figures in this set and we're gonna bring down his uh toe and we can just close these back up and now what we can do is uh we can bring out the foot and we can bring the toe down like this on either side and what you're trying to do is you're trying to get it so that this lines up right with here oh, oh. hold on hold on hold on and there we go so yeah i kind of had to do that off camera because it was kind of being a pain so we just i'll do it on the other side real quick and you're just going to kind of shift this down right at this hinge here and you're just going to kind of bring it up so it lines up just like that. And then we can line both these up just like this. Kind of re-tab them in together just like that. And then the last thing you want to do is bring these down like this. And that'll cover everything up. And we have a couple more steps which we can do next. I'm going to show you in short order. But for the most part, that is going to be Ocular Max Frodo in his leg mode. And before we say what little we have to about this mode, because uh, it's uh, him looking like a leg, what more can I say? Um, uh, th there is a few more things we can do. So uh, part of the all-in-one gimmick uh, is, or all built-in gimmick, I should say, is that you can store all this, uh, all of his accessories in his uh, leg mode. So the wheel, of course, you'll notice you have two tabs right here, two tabs on the back of the wheel that just stores right there. And then next up, you can take the rest of his accessories. Let's dismantle his little back cannon here. And you can bring this down and this will store right on. You just use the same peg that you uh, used. Uh, oh, come on now. There's a good lad. You just put it right in, right in the hole. <laughs> okay, and that is stored just like that. And next up, you have this piece right here and you got this tab right here and as for his cannon this uh breaks itself in half and what you can do is on this side you have this hole right here huh? and we can close that up and lastly but not least you notice you have two tabs it's like yeah this is what these are for this will go right in these two tabs right down here There we go, there we go. Yeah, and that locks in, and all this stuff locks in relatively securely, and that is pretty cool. I mean, like, you know, it's a, see, that's like, it's on the back of the leg, so unless, you know, unless you display your bots from the back, which I know a lot of people like to, oh, you uh, want to clean back? It's like, uh, it, it's not going to matter. So it's like, it, it still looks cool. It looks like a bunch of machine robot parts, robot parts. So again, we'll go over this again when we do our uh, Bruticus review, but uh, he does have uh, heel tilt. He does have toe tilt uh still nice and stiff and then of course he kind of has this uh rocker and then of course he has this uh mega angle so you can kind of see those inner workings there it looks pretty cool so yes you can get it kind of like a 
tilted pose just like that and again that's pretty cool i mean again just really cool how he kind of compacts down and uh whatnot and uh lastly but not least let's do one comparison our only combiner comparison let's do a boogie camera and we'll bring in the leg i know i dismantled yet again my toy world devastator it's not gonna survive much longer i'm just kidding it's it's doing just fine i gotta clean its cage anyway and uh but either way you can already kind of see um uh the, the height detriment we're gonna be at here. I mean, we, we, we all know this. I mean, this toy isn't new or anything like that, but uh, yeah, it's so... I mean, we're, we're suffering from about an inch of height lost uh, at the leg alone. So, uh, but there you go. You kind of see how it works out, uh, where it's going to go, and uh, all that good stuff. So, yeah, and uh, that is all for the leg bone. All right, and let us summarize. And uh, yeah, uh, there it is for the Ocular Max Frodo, aka Swindle, and uh, uh, another uh, home run uh, in this set. And this is exactly why I went all in uh, on this set, at least for my standalone Combaticons. This guy looks great. I mean, um, even from the combiner standpoint, I think that I think these guys are superb. I just wish that they had the height I was looking uh, for. Um, uh, but that said, no. I mean, uh, solid build um even for all friction joints uh, yeah, everything feels tight and not to a disturbing level it feels a nice solid tight um uh, just like on impetus um uh, i love how all the weapons integrate on this guy in fact i love how everything can be stored in every single mode without being visually obtrusive i wish more companies would take hints from ocular max on this aspect i mean look at this you can't even see this right here it looks like just a part of the robot i absolutely love how every think integrates on this um the colors i think are bang on i mean uh, you know I i'm always a stickler for uh hot paint colors that's why i like i really do uh swing towards fans toys but again ocular max uh, i think they got the color tones right with this guy he looks good he looks great at a shelf i'm glad they included the uh other head because his uh his his stock his stock head the one he comes with is kind of kind of sad so i don't picture swindle as a very sad guy he always kind of he he'll always kind of thieve his way out of something so uh but yeah no uh home run hands down um, just like Impetus, um, uh, I ha I do have Incursus on the way. I did receive the shipping notice, so we are going to be completing these guys over the next month here, or informing the mighty Bruticus. So stick around for that. And in fact, we're getting close to the end this at the end of this video. So this is about the time where I tell you to consider liking the channel or liking this video if you did indeed like this video and found it helpful. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you feel so inclined. Thank you so much to those of you who already are three hundred. That is so awesome. I'm so happy to hear it. I can't wait. I hope you decide to join us on this journey of mine. And uh, yeah, that being said, we're going to go through the set and form the Mighty Bruticus. So you do not want to miss that. Uh, as for where I bought this guy, I picked him up from Big Bad Toy Store. He should still be available. I'll put a link in the description down below. You can feel free to check out other retail stores. He should still, he just got in stock about a month or two ago. So he should still be in stock. Um, and that being said, I think it is time to end. So I have been FC Finch. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.